Bonjour! You need to write an informal letter for your French exam? Then stick around. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! The first thing you need to do is to read the instructions. You write an informal letter to your French pen pal in which you share your experience of a recent activity. 130 to 150 words. And all this in French, of course. The second thing you need to do is to underline the key words and any cues you may have been given. So, that's what I've done. I have underlined three words or three sets of words. The first one is informal. As you know, it's important to know if it's an, a formal letter or an informal letter. You know that a formal letter would be a letter uh, where you'd be writing to somebody in authority, for example, uh, somebody you don't know, and somebody to whom you will be using the vous form. Whereas here, the letter, it says it's an informal letter, and of course it is because you're talking to your French pen pal or pen friend, and we are going to be using the tu form. Then, what are you going to talk about? It says in which you share your experience. The your experience is important because we're only talking about your experience and not somebody else's. Experience of what? Of a recent activity. It's not an activity, but it's recent. So if it's recent, it means that it's, it's been done already. So of course, this means that we are going to be using the past tense. The third thing you need to do is to think of what they are looking for. Hmm, informal. Okay, so if it's informal, it means that I have to use the to form. So you must be thinking, oh, I have to keep or to stick to the to form. Then recent activity, it means if it's recent, it means that I have to use the past tense. But what I would say to you is don't stick to one form only. You have the passé composé as well as the imperfect, which is an imparfait. And if you can use the plus perfect, even better. I would like to remind you, if you don't know, that French Action has videos on the passé composé with avoir, passé composé with être, a video on the imperfect tense, and a video with passé composé versus imperfect. So all this is already on French Action. If you're not sure, I would advise you to watch those videos. The fourth thing you will need to do is to think of what you will need to write about. Now, when we talk about recent activity and your experience, we need to think of the activities in themselves. So for example, I put down here a party. Is it a party, a birthday party? Is it a fundraising activity? Is it a school or work activity? Here are some examples of places where you could go to for the activities. The first one, a concert, un concert, or maybe you want to go to a fair, une foire. Maybe you want to talk about a birthday party, an anniversaire, or une surprise party if it's a surprised one. Or maybe you want to talk about going to a circus. Why not? A cirque. Maybe you want to go to a car exhibition. Why not? Une, vo une exposition de voiture. Or maybe you just want to talk about a fashion show which you need to organize for school or work. Why not? and that would be a défilé de mode. Whatever you decide to use, make sure you have the vocabulary going with it. 
When you have decided on the activity, you have to think about your plan. Remember, the structure is important because they told you 130 to 150 words. To make it easier, we're going to use 150 words, telling you really 25, 125. But I know that I won't be able to do 25, 125. It just, it's just something to give you an idea of how to put the three parts. And the three parts are the ones, I'm sure you know them already, the introduction in which you're going to state the reason for writing, the body of the letter, so you're going to really develop everything around the activity you have chosen, and then a short conclusion to finish off the letter. So now the example. So for what I would call the introduction, Remember, cher Paul, cher Sophie. I put cher Paul or cher Sophie to show you the difference between the masculine and the feminine when you want to say dear. Okay, so cher Paul and cher Sophie, same pronunciation but different spelling. As you can see, we have to add an E for the feminine. And then you could start something like comment vas-tu, how are you, comment vas-tu? Moi, ça va. So now you're referring to yourself. Moi, ça va. I'm fine. Mais je suis un peu stressée à cause des examens. But I'm a little stressed because of exams. Je suis un peu stressée à cause des examens. Il y a tant de matières à réviser. There are so many subjects to revise. So that is my, my little introduction, which in fact is not quite finished because I need to state the reason for writing. In this letter, I'm going to assume that I am a male. So you're not going to see the extra E, but I'm going to ask all the ladies to remember to add the E for the feminine part. Now I'm going to state the reason as to why I'm writing. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to try to keep the reader interested. So I'm going to start by figure toi, que je suis allé à, and then you state the place where you went. And then, il faut que je te raconte. I must tell you about it. Il faut que je te raconte. So when you say, il faut que je te raconte, it means, wow, this person is going to tell me something which is very interesting. Let's see what he or she has to say. So that's one way of keeping the reader interested. And also, I continue with, c'était super. And now, if, it's, if it was great, then I need to find out. And I will continue reading the letter. Have you noticed that I also keep the number of words so that you have an idea of what 10 words look like or 20 words look like, okay? So now that we have finished with the introduction, we have to move to the, I would say, the meat. <laughs> the most important part is the story. What are we going to talk about? So we know it's an activity, so we need to know when it happened, where, and who you were with. Maybe it's not just you alone. Okay, so you could start something like Le Weekend Dernier because it was a recent activity. So it doesn't have to be uh, three years ago, but rather like a weekend, uh, last weekend. Le Weekend Dernier, je suis allé à blah, blah, blah with my friend, avec mon ami. And of course, if your friend is a female, then you add an E. For the purpose of the exam, I would say to you, don't bother with that. It doesn't matter if you put everything in the, <laughs> in the masculine form, then you wouldn't need to add any E. When you're going to narrate the story using the passé composé and the imperfect, as I mentioned earlier, you need to be clear about which tense you're going to use. So passé composé, it's for actions, 
and I'm very clear about that, is actions. I went, I did, I drank, I, I ate. Whatever you're saying, it has to be real actions, okay? For the imperfect though, you are talking about maybe your impressions. It was great, it was boring, it was whatever. It could be the description of, a, of the weather. Il faisait beau, il faisait mauvais. It could be the description of a place. So here we're not really talking about actions and you will see that the verbs you're going to be using very often are to be or to have as well. So just a few examples in French, passé composé for actions. J'ai visité, I visited, j'ai fait, I did, or I made, j'ai mangé, I ate, j'ai bu, I drank. And then on the next line, I put the to be verbs to remind you that you can use the to be verbs, especially when you want to say I went, you can't say j'ai allé, which we see very often, which is incorrect. Je suis allé, je suis sorti, I went out, etc. For the imperfect, for your impressions, you want to say, oh, it was a beautiful evening. C'était une belle soirée. C'était une belle soirée. So the imperfect is there with c'était. You want to say about, you want to talk about the weather, how nice the weather was. You could say, il faisait un temps magnifique. So faisait is the imperfect of faire. So now I'm going to read this letter. This part was read already, so I'm going to do, go very quickly uh, through it, but there will not be any stop because I would like you to see what the letter looks like. Cher Paul or cher Sophie, comment vas-tu? Moi, ça va, mais je suis un peu stressée à cause des examens. Il y a tant de matières à réviser. Figure-toi que je suis sortie hier soir. Je me suis bien amusée. Il faut que je te raconte, c'était super. Je suis allée au dernier concert de, so I went to the last concert of, and then you put the name of the singer or the group. Il y avait beaucoup de monde. There was a lot of people. Then the name of the singer a chanté toutes mes chansons préférées. So he or she sang all my favorite songs. J'ai bien aimé l'ambiance. I really enjoyed the atmosphere. Les fans connaissaient les chansons. The fans knew the songs. Le concert s'est terminé avec un feu d'artifice. The concert ended with the fireworks. Que c'était beau. How beautiful it was. Now, if no cues are given, because obviously if you have cues, you'll have to go according to what is asked of you. If not, you have to come up with something. And I would advise you to come up with a little incident, something which is obviously unexpected. Unexpected, sorry. So here we have, cependant, il y a eu un petit incident. However, there was a little incident. Une fille est montée sur le podium en courant pour embrasser le chanteur. So now we, you're talking about a girl. Est montée, so she went up sur le podium. Podium is the stage, so she went up to the stage. En courant, how did she do it? Is running, by running. What for? To kiss the singer. So a translation, a better translation, would be something like a girl run up to the stage to kiss the singer. Comme c'était inattendu, les gardes du corps sont intervenus. Since it was unexpected, the bodyguards intervened. And here I'm using intervenir, using the to be form to show you that because 
intervenir has venir in it, you need to use the to be form, even though it's not part of the 13 verbs, uh, but venir is. So anything coming with venir would, would be the same. Okay? So les gardes du corps sont intervenus. Cela a interrompu le concert. So this interrupted the concert. Heureusement qu'il ne s'est rien passé d'autre. Fortunately, nothing else happened. And all this came up to 43 words. So, we've been talking about a concert, which was good. However, there was a little incident, but generally speaking, it was still good. So, I'm going to advise my pen, my pen pal to go to that concert. Je te conseille d'aller à ce concert s'il passe dans ta ville. I advise you to go to this concert if it comes to your town. Ça vaut le coup. Ça vaut le coup is a very nice expression to remember. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's always good to put some idioms in your letter. Then I put, je sais que tu aimeras. I added this for two reasons. The first one is to show the examiner that I can use another tense. It is true that they ask me to basically use the past tense, but I can show you or can show them that I can use the future. So that's the reason why I put the future. I know you will like it. The second reason why I use this and I underlined it is because the it is not there. It's not a mistake. If I put a it there, which is the same as him or her, it would, the emera would change into love. I know you will love him or will love her. So to prevent this confusion, I don't put the it. Je sais que tu aimeras. With aimé, you have to be careful because aimé is to like, but it's also to love. So depending on how you put it, it changes meaning. So here, I'm going to say, je sais que tu aimeras. Of course, I'm talking about the concert. And here, I'm not putting any L apostrophe there. Bon, je vais te laisser. Well, I'm going to leave you. Envoie le bonjour à tes parents de ma part. Sends my regards to your parents. And then I added another expression. Ce que tu fais de beau, faire de beau, means what you are up to. Raconte-moi ce que tu fais de beau. Tell me what you're up to. À bientôt. See you soon. And that came up to 38 words. Okay, so my introduction had 47 words. It's a lot, but remember, I am teaching you certain things. So I had to add some other sentences so that you can see what you could put, but you wouldn't need to put all this. Okay, so 20 something words would go there. Activity, 105 words. Okay, and the conclusion, 22 words. The conclusion for me starts at bon, je vais te laisser. I'm going to leave you. That's where my conclusion starts. And that gives me 22 words. So, of course, I'm over the limit, 150 words. However, you will not need to write as many words as I have. Okay, it's just to show you what can be written. And also, I wanted to add some idioms. And when you do these things, it's going to uh, be longer. But I hope that this exercise has shown you or given you an idea of how to go about such a letter or this type of letter. And of course, if you enjoyed it, please like it, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Au revoir!